Happy birthday to our dear pastor and God-fearing man of God. Wishing you more anointing and grace of God. Thank you for your labor of love and impact. Today you are 71. God will continue to bless your new age in good health in his word. Long life and prosperity shall continue to be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Pastor Matthew. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> the Lord will always show you his goodness and mercy whenever you call upon him. May the grace of God be with you and your family at all times in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please help me to celebrate my pastor. He is indeed a God general. Yes. Celebrate him. Oh my God. He is 71. But guys, you will never know. He always looks smart, intelligent handsome, blessed, you know, when you look at him, you just see the glory and the grace of God in his life. I celebrate you, sir. May the, may the Lord continue to keep you in all that you do in Jesus name. Amen. I am so happy today. So today we are going to church. Join us as we go to church. Yes. So, so many people have been asking this question. Why should we go to church? Okay, okay. Let me ask my husband. Daddy, why do you think we should go to church? Well, there, has, there are many reasons why we, we, we should go to church. The Bible says that we should not um, uh, forsake the gathering of the brethren. And um, the first reason that I would like to talk about is to hear the preaching of the word. Because when we go to church, we enjoy the preaching. As it's in uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. It says that if the word of God is quick, powerful, and sharper than uh, a sword, then hearing the preaching of scripture is vital to our spiritual well-being. And when we gather together in a corporate, in a church, we hear it together and it's, it, it makes a, a lot of sense. Secondly, to participate in a sort of corporate worship. Yeah. Because you, know, you can worship at home, but when we Where come together going? and we, we, we engage Michelle? in a corporate worship together, love... it makes a huge difference. So worshiping now? God alone is wonderful, but nothing huh? can replace the beauty of coming together so corporately to worship Him with others who also have His Spirit in them through the redeeming work of our salvation. So when we when we come together, oh, okay. everybody brings That's their good. gifts and we are there for a common purpose. And that common purpose is to worship God, you know. And personal experience, many times when you're worshiping God in such a group, the angels of the Lord are there. They descend and because we all are enjoying God's presence. So nothing can replace that. Just say hello. And thirdly, Daddy, say because hello. the Bible says that iron sharpens iron. Okay. Proverbs chapter 27 verse, verse 17. So meeting together regularly with other believers is a source of encouragement and strength. You know, but this, when iron rubs against iron, not only does it become sharper, it also causes sparks. It's just part of the process. So when we come together, we sharpen, we sharpen each other rather than, you know, it's only you. So there is a reason why Bible says this. And um, we, we, it's, it's always very, very beneficial to all of us as the body of Christ. And number four is to exercise your gift. There's no better place to exercise your God-given gift than the church of God. Because you use the gift of, if you are gifted in singing, you use it in church. 
If you are gifted in preaching the word, you use it in church. If you are gifted in looking after children, you, you, you use it in church. So it's a great place to use our gift in church. And you can see this in, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and in Romans chapter 12 verse 6. And another reason why we go to church is to encourage your pastor because, you know, if a pastor comes to church, prepared the message, and there's no one in church, that's not an encouragement. So we come to church, we encourage him, he encourages us, the pastor encourages the congregation, the congregation encourages the pastor, and that is how the church of God is growing. That is how the gospel is being propagated. Because when we come together, then we make our decision. We're going out for evangelism to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. And even the apostles that received the Holy Ghost, they were together. If we go back to how the, everything started, it was when they were all gathered together in one accord in the upper room that the Holy Ghost came. Conversely, if they weren't gathered together, one could, you know, say that the Holy Ghost wouldn't have come. Because they were all gathered together, praying together, you know, uh, fellowship, to, uh, fellowshipping together. And boom, the Holy Ghost came and they became different people, yes. speaking in tongues. The power of God be made manifest. And that is how the gospel broke out. Apostle Peter, who didn't, wasn't, you know, highly educated person, was speaking so many languages by the Holy Ghost. This yes. was possible because they all gathered and fellowshipping together. So this is wonderful. You can never, never underrate going together, going to church. And number six is to find godly mentors. You know, when we come together, different gifts manifest. And then we have different godly mentors, people that are called in the area of mentoring children, people that are called in the area of mentoring, um, uh, mentoring young adults, people that are called in mentoring, you know, married couples, or to be, you know, expecting mothers, different, different aspects of, 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 of our lives, of our growth. We find mentors when we come together in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. So, yeah, so we, we, the, the reasons are so many. Yeah. We, can, we can never, never 